Melodrama. Looking like jumping off at the back of the corset. Horse who has regularly made the running. And they're off in the £50,000 get daily rewards with Betfair graduation chase and Hitman it is that leads them to the first of 17 fences to Itchy Feet, Earn River, who's uh, taking a keen hold in third position and Manella Drama in fourth place, reaching fence number one. And all touching down okay over it with Hitman striding on under Harry Cobden to Sean Bowen and Itchy Feet in second, Charlie Hammond and Earn River in third, and Brian Hughes and Manella Drama in fourth as they get to the second fence. And again, all clearing it without mishap as the 160 rated Hitman coming on towards number three with the advantage to. Itchy Feet in second, and then Earn River, Charlie Hammond in the colours of the Crossed Fingers partnership for trainer Nick Kent, and Manella Drama in fourth place. An open ditch now, fence number four. And a Hitman over in front, all of them getting from A to B. Hitman who was second in the Melling Chase on his final start last season, and second in the Old Roan on his first start this, a race that Paul Nichols has farmed in his time. He's won it with the likes of Klander Zobo and Brave Man's Game last year, to name a couple. And Itchy Feet was second in this to Brave Man's Game 12 months ago. He sits in second at the moment, about three lengths of Hitman, who leads them into the home straight. And third place is still Earn River, and Manila Drama is in fourth position as they now run to number five. And it is Hitman, unpestered, and meeting that one beautifully and jumping it quite extravagantly in the lead to, in second place, Itchy Feet. Manella Drama just going into third from Earn River in fourth place as they now run to another ditch. This is fence number six of the 17, and it's Hitman over that in front to Itchy Feet in second position. On the right then, weighted with his Earn River, and Manella Drama, who had his best day here, Back in January, when he won the Grade 2 Alt car, is on the near side and jumping that fence very well as they now head towards fence eight, which will be the last next time around. And the favourite hitman with ears pricked and able to amble on towards this next obstacle, setting his own pace. And again, an athletic leap from the leader. He's in front by about three to Itchy Feet. There'd only be a length between Itchy Feet and River and Manella Drama as they sit three lengths off Hitman as they come towards the end of their first circuit. They go round once more in the Get Daily Rewards with Betfair graduation chase. And Hitman has the advantage by two lengths to Itchy Feet in second position. Earn River on the inside and Manella Drama in fourth place. All still travelling perfectly well as they now enter the back straight once again and race to the first of five fences on this part of the course. The next one, fence number nine, taken only once. And uh, Hitman leading by two to Itchy Feet. Earn River and Manella Drama are level in third. So yet to really get racing here as Hitman comes to the next and jumps it well. Manella Drama on the outside of Itchy Feet and uh, Earn River, not much to choose between Hitman's three pursuers as they now come to fence number 10. It was the first. That time, Hitman just got in a bit close to that one. Didn't quite come up when desired, but holds the advantage to Itchy Feet, Manella Drama, and to Earn River. The middle fence down the back, and Hitman was spot on there. The tap's just being turned on a little bit here as they head to the second last fence in the back straight. They've got six more to take in total, and Hitman continues to lead. Over that to Itchy Feet, Manella Drama, and uh, Earn River as the field now run to the final one in the back straight, an open ditch. Hitman with Itchy Feet trying to get a little bit closer to him. Earn River on the inside, and Manella Drama in his hood on the outer. So four fences left to take. And turning left-handed, so far Hitman has had everything his own way. He's yet to be challenged, but the other three are lining up in behind. Manella Drama 
The yellow stars on the red jacket, Brian Hughes just moving closer past Itchy Feet. Earn River on the inside. Itchy Feet now being pushed along in fourth place. Hitman leads them as they straighten and run to four out. Manila Drama trying to challenge. Earn River just getting squeezed along for the first time. And then Itchy Feet as they run to the fourth last fence. It's Hitman on the far side. He jumped it well to Manila Drama. Earn River is ridden in behind and Itchy Feet is in fourth. So Hitman still has the lead with Earn River and Manila Drama about to try and challenge as they come to the final ditch, the third last fence. Hitman is over, two clear of Earn River and Manila Drama, who's also shaken up now. Itchy Feet is in fourth. Cobden still holding Hitman together as they run towards the second last. Earn River trying to have a crack at the leader. Hitman, though, leads by three, and Earn River hit the fence. Manila Drama in third position, then Itchy Feet, and Hitman is still cruising along in front, and they're making no impression on him as he heads to the 17th and final fence hitman over safely and over clear by six or seven lengths he's got too much class for them hitman and he's never really been challenged he hasn't come off the bridle and hitman will win his third race over fences as paul nichols wins the graduation chase again second is close and river gets that to manila drama and fourth itchy feet two in the day for paul nichols hitman has won. Um, I watched you watching that. That was that was good, wasn't it? I was thrilled with that. You know, he relaxed today. He was very keen at entry and a bit fresh, and we thought we'd let him bowl along in front. And I thought he might switch off and just do that very nicely. Jump well, did everything great. He's maturing all the time. It's the best I've ever seen him look today. And when I saddled him, I thought, Christ, you've grown, <laughs> believe it or not, since since the summer. And he's just, you know, an improving six-year-old. Bill Rohn had a form boost, obviously yeah. had a massive weight, the third one of Paddy yeah. Power. King George next? I think that's the plan. I mean, the lads like having a run at Clam won't run for them. Uh, you know, obviously we got Brave Man's game as well, so Harry's going to have to make some decisions. I mean, I think this lad was 25 to 1 earlier in the week, and the other lad's favourite, but he's not a 25 to 1 shot anymore. There won't be much between them now. And you think trip-wise, he'll... I think three miles will bring out plenty of improvement in him, and three mile ran Kempton and suit him well. I've just waited, bided my time to go up yeah. and trip with him. Um, but uh, today, two mile five, he'd have gone another three furlongs without any bother at all. Yeah, and the thing is, early he did switch off. I know he got yeah. an easy enough time up front, but he, he yeah. lobbed away. And that was good. And like Harry said, I think in his better races now, the championship races, they always go a good gallop, so you can slot in nicely, a little bit of daylight, and he's going to he's going to relax and not be so fresh as he was at Aintree. Yeah. Nice for Sir Alex and Co. Have another good one. Yeah, they've got some yeah. super horses now. They, you know, they put a lot into it um, and they've got some really nice horses now so um, it's exciting times for them. And by your own standards they're, they're, they're absolutely flying. I know, they look absolutely brilliant. Uh, Tamaris and Hitman today, they were funny enough both by the same sire, looked fantastic and last year I was never really happy with them all year round. I don't know quite why but this year they seem to turn the corner looking good and running out they look. Long mate, last well done. Yeah, exactly, thank you. Hitman has provided Harry Cobden with a double in the afternoon. That, the horse you were looking forward to coming today, that was smooth. Yeah, lovely, wasn't it? Um, handled the soft ground well and um, jumped great. And, you know, the three horses in behind him are very good. And, you know, he's only a six-year-old. He's still improving. And uh, he's got a lot of big days ahead of him. One fence down the back, you're in tight. Apart from that, he was good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He just nudged it a little bit, didn't he? But apart from that, you, 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 you could... You could struggle to fault him, really, could you? Did I hear Paul say maybe Lipperstown? Yeah, I, I think I'm running the King George, if I'm honest. Um, and right, Brave Man's game or him? Another headache. Uh, I think I've got off more grey one winners than I've ridden, so yeah. um, we'll see. You know, there's a lot of water under the bridge yeah. between now and then. They've got to both get there and stay sound, haven't they? So um, maybe I can persuade them to split them up. <laughs> uh, Tolworth Hurdle, Tamaris could be a ride, and that after winning yeah. our opening race, he was good. I loved him. He, uh, he's very straightforward. He'll get further in time, jumps well, um, handles any ground. So, um, yeah, he's a nice, nice workable horse. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's good to have a few good ones coming through, isn't it? Yeah, they're flying along. Well done. Cheers. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.